episode of Tasha's Sewing Tutorials, we will be making this super easy dress. Oh, the inspiration comes from the American Apparel dress called Le Sac. Oh, it's so easy. You guys will be amazed. You can probably make it in 30 minutes or less. And this is also a beginner level to expert level. So, let's get started. This dress is inspired by the American Apparel dress called um, Le Sac. And it's super easy. Anybody from very beginner level on first day sewing all the way up to expert level can do this. And um, depending on your sewing uh, skill, and if you're using a machine or if you're hand sewing, you can probably make it in 30 minutes or less. Okay, so. Okay, everyone, you guys know that I make children's clothing. So today, Beauty will be assisting us being our model. And although I'm making this for a child, you can make this for someone as small as a newborn, all the way up to, well, I wouldn't exactly make it for a newborn, but baby size, beauty, look at the camera, all the way up into an adult size. It's so simple. So, okay, so we're going to get to it. Beauty, stand up. Um, I've readjusted the camera. And what we're going to do first is measure the widest part of your body. And on beauty, that is her hips. So that's what we're going to measure. And um, the way you're going to do that is take the tape measure, measure it all the way around, and her hips are 25. On some of us, that measurement may not be our hips. It may, oh, you, it may be our bust area, so we're going to do the same thing. If it was our bust, we would measure all the way around the fullest part and take that measurement. But for beauty, that's going to be her hips, so we're going to start with that. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure how long we want it to be. So I'm going to start at beauty's shoulder. I'll hold it. You're going to hold it? Okay, hold it with your other hand. Yeah, that hand. Start at the shoulder. And if you have on a, a t-shirt or a blouse or something, when you measure, you're going to put the tape, pull your arm down. You're going to put the tape measure on your shoulder seam. So we're going to start there. You going to hold it with your other hand. And we're going to measure down as long as we want it. I think we're going to go down to Beauty's knee, which is also 25. So Beauty's dress is going to be 25 inches long and then 25 inches wide. Okay, well, let's go to the next step. Okay, now that we have the measurements, the first thing we need to do is make, um, be able to cut our fabric. I'm going to do like I normally do, and I'm going to draw the pattern out on a piece of paper first to show you what I'm doing, and then we're going to cut it out the fabric. On this project, you do not have to make a pattern. I'm just showing you on the piece of paper so you can get the idea. Okay, let me move the camera down to the paper. Okay, now that we have our measurements, we are going to to uh, show you how you do it. We're going to mark the length and the width. And beauty was 25 lengthwise and 25 widthwise. But what we need to do is add three inches to the top and an inch to the bottom. So actually our length will be 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29 inches. Hopefully you guys can read that. It looks kind of sloppy because I'm writing sideways. So that's what we're going to do with that. And the reason why we're adding an inch at the bottom is so we can make a hem. And the reason why we're adding three inches at the top is so we can make a casing for our drawstring. So when we sew this, we're going to have <coughs> two rectangles or two squares. It depends on your measurements, what it's going to come out like. It's either going to be, well, I guess a rectangle is a square. So 
I mean a square is a rectangle. So we're gonna have two rectangles. And at the top, we're gonna make a casing for our drawstring. And down here, we're gonna have our seam. And we're gonna sew it together right here along the sides. I'm sorry, we're gonna have a hem. And that's about it. So once we sew it, make the hem, we're gonna make the uh, casing. So first, we're going to finish the uh, armholes. Then we're going to make the casing, sew it down the sides, hem it, we're done. It's that simple. So let's get started on cutting the fabric. We're going to be using this zebra print fabric. It's so cute. Okay, let me readjust the camera so we can get to the cutting. I also forgot to mention that we need to add at least three to four inches on the, on the width wise. So that way, when um, you wear it, it'll be comfortable. Because this is supposed to be a nice and flowing dress. So we're going to add three inches to the top width wise. So instead of 25, we're going to do 28 this way for beauty. Oh, you guys couldn't even see that. Let's try that again. Zoom in. Okay, so width-wise, going across the widest part of her body, we're going to be doing 28 inches because she was 25. We added three for ease because this is supposed to be loose and flowy. That's sick. 29. I know you're six. We're adding three for the ease so you can have room to move around in your dress so it won't be tight to your skin. Yeah. And then 29 inches going lengthwise so because we're adding three inches to the top and one inch to the bottom and we're going to cut this by two. So what we're going to do is we already folded our fabric in half and when we fold it in half, just our luck, the fabric came out to the right width. So now all we have to do, let me zoom back out. All we have to do is cut ours lengthwise. So we're gonna start at the top. We're gonna measure down 29 inches and actually 29 inches cuts off my pattern. So I'm going to, we can't see what I'm doing cause I'm on the other end of the table. Let's do it this way. Okay, now this is the top. This right here is the top of our fabric, and I need to be down here. There we go. You can see my face. Yes, we can see your face. Okay. So, what I'm going to do instead of cutting it off at 29, 20, I'm going to cut it off at 30. And I'm just going to cut straight across. And the fold is on this side. And our selvage is on the other side, but this is our fold. So I'm gonna cut it off at 30. Why is it on the floor? Because I've wanted to. And and after we cut it off at 30, I'm going to cut and in two pieces by cutting them up the fold. Oh, and I forgot to mention for fabric selection, we're using a knit t-shirt weight. You can use a stretch fabric to make this, or you can use a really light and flowy non-stretch fabric. It should work just the same. So, but we chose this stretch fabric here. Because we've had it in the house for a while and the only thing we've made from it is a pair of leggings. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Now that we have it cut up, the next thing we're going to do How are you going to cut is uh, make our armholes. Oh, if I can get it cut. It's taking forever to cut it. Okay. <laughs> now, you can see that we have this top <coughs> piece we have a bottom so we need to hem who we want the armhole to be so I'm going to estimate beauty actually I don't need to estimate I can actually measure it beauty come over here what oh we can see you never mind hold your arm 
what you can do to make your measurement for your armhole is take your sleeve or the shirt you already have I don't want start at the seam and measure around to the bottom seam and beauty has six inches so what we need to do is mark six inches down right here this is here at home do not do this with the permanent marker do this with the fabric marker do not do as I do we're gonna mark it right there at the six inch mark and this is where I'm gonna stop I'm gonna sew I'm going to uh, sew along the sides all the way up here and on the other side as well and we're gonna stop at the six inch mark. okay now we're back and I have sewed it together the two fabrics together with a stretch stitch I don't know if you can see that from here I tried to use a darker thread so you can see it let me zoom in some so maybe you can see what that stretch stitch looks like looks kind of like a um, zigzag stitch but it's slanted a little bit so that's what I use to sew this together if you do not have a stretch stitch and you're using a stretch fabric, you can use a small, the smallest zigzag stitch you can find on your machine setting. A lot of people think you should use the bigger one, but really you should use the smallest one you can find. Because as you can see, if I can get the camera to focus, that's pretty small, but it stretches with the fabric. Okay, so now I've sewed all the way up to this point right here I'm gonna zoom back out don't mind my table it's kinda gunky there but that's because we do all our crafts here okay I sewed all the way up to the point of the armhole and earlier as you can see earlier today I said uh, beauty's measurement for her armhole was six inches and I measured down six inches but really what I should have did was measured down nine inches which is what I have now Mommy. and the reason for that as you can Mommy. see wait beauty the uh, reason for that is because we're going to put uh, a casing at the top so now what we have to do <coughs> is to fold this over an eighth of an inch and fold it again an eighth of an inch and finish the armhole or since this is knit if you want to leave it unfinished you can it will not unravel but if you're gonna sell it I suggest you finish this armhole you can do it like that or you can take a piece of your scrap fabric and then just uh, do like a binding around the armhole as well whichever works for you and then after we do that we're going to after we do that we're gonna fold this over and make a casing for our, our tie. Now, the, how big your casing is depends on how wide your tie is. If your tie is one inch wide, you're gonna make a one and a quarter inch casing. If your tie is two inches wide, you're gonna make a two and a quarter inch casing. Now, what we did for our tie, you can use a ribbon if you want, but what we did for our ties, we cut a piece of the fabric off, we stretched it out, and we braided it together, and we're going to string it through there. So let me go ahead and finish the armholes, finish the casing, and then we're going to string the tie through there, and you'll see what it looks like when it's done. We'll be back one moment. Okay, here's Beauty in the finished look. We put a tie through the um, casing that we made to the top, through the top, and when we put it on her, we put a belt around it. Okay, Beauty, do some turn around to the back so they can see the back. There's the back. Come around to the front. Now, the front, you want to do some poses because you know everybody wants to see beauty poses. Another one. Another pose. You're not feeling like it today? Okay, well, this is um, what the dress looks like in child size, but also it'll look the exact same in adult size. As you can see, it's very versatile. You can make it for for um, a baby, 
all the way up into adult and it doesn't matter what size you are this look a good, good look good on anybody I'm gonna zoom in some so you guys can see right there around the neck is where we braided the tie together with the scraps and we strung it through the casings but you can use a ribbon if you would like or some leather cording whatever you want to do and we also use the scraps to make the belt so don't throw away your scraps turn around to the back beauty and we also use the scraps to make the bow for our hair <laughs> move your hair to the side so they can see the back part there you go okay turn around sideways so you can see your shoulder uh, and there you can see how we braided that and this once again is our version of the American Apparel Lee Sack dress so we'll see you guys later and as usual